guys, welcome back to Texas Unicorns. This is a chicken update. Look at what my dad made for the chickens. They are growing up so fast. Okay guys, here is our new chicken and duck run. When you are raising chickens and ducks, there are several stages that you have to accustom for them as they are growing. So as pullets, we had them in a smaller environment to protect them from predators. They also needed a heat lamp until they got their flight feathers. Now we're going to transition them at five and a half weeks old to this chicken run. This new enclosure will be used for them during the day. And because they are still in the teenage phase, we have them in our garage safe and sound at night. Guys, they're so cute. They love it. I did a, a door prop for it for the girls. It's heavy, huh? You lift, you lift this up right here. Prop it right here. And prop it up. Nice. And then, this sits nice and flush. And you can lay down. transitioning into their coop. Opens up like this and then we have a safety lock right here. So we put like that. And then we just grab them like so. This is Gypsy, my father's duck. They're getting some feather pattern right here. Yeah. The ducks are six weeks old this weekend. <laughs> yeah. Look at how big they are getting. So we have started them on some scratch feed. Got some seeds. Looks like they ate all the worms. Let's get some more worms for them. Okay, they are going to love the dried mealworms. Come here, chickies. Okay guys, and when you're putting in the mealworms or your scratch, especially when, the, when they're in this teenage stage, they're still little, learning how to eat. Now I like to kind of put it around in the grass too. That will help teach them to do their chicken scratching as they're, oh look it, Guantan is eating those up. You like this protein, don't you? It's gonna be so fun when these guys are just eating all of the live bugs. It's so healthy for all of your ducks and chickens to be having live bugs going around the yard safely. Here's a chick right here. This is normal. See how she's kind of laying down on her side. They love to take dust baths. So once they're a little older, we'll let them get in the dust, sand, and they just go to town, shaking their little tutti fruities away. They love it. What do you have here? Um, this is Lolly. She's a light Brahma. Um, she's getting her, actually, she's getting her oh, typical Brahma pattern. Look at the flight feathers coming in. Where are you going? Lolly? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Running around, look at. She wants to get back with her flap. It is a gorgeous day out here. It's got a door that Shane put on and it just kind of slides up and down. Once the top lid is on, it cannot open. So predators cannot get in or out. We use chicken wire all around. We also put on some handles so that when we are moving it with the wheels every couple days, uh, it's going to be easier for us to move because it is quite heavy. This is a partial wood treated. You can see that. I don't know if you can see. You can tell when wood has been treated because it's got a green tint to it. And that's going to help protect it from when it does rain. We were not able to do the whole thing in treated wood just because it's super heavy and super expensive. 
And these guys are not gonna be in here for more than a couple months. And then they're gonna transition into the official coop that we are making for them, which I will have in an upcoming video. We're gonna let these guys roam in the yard while we are supervising them for a little bit. I will show you that and add on some filming here for the video. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Comment below if you have ducks and chicks and if you are watching them grow through all these fun stages. It's just such a fun experience to have. So one of the ducks is starting to do a little quack. Oh, oh there he is. Listen to that, guys. Our baby ducklings' first little quacks. That's so precious. So Maggie is the darker duck. Saki is the lighter brown. There's Wonton, the gray and yellow. And then Gypsy is, where is Gypsy? Gypsy's the black and yellow right there, getting the drink of water. It closes really easy. It's a bit heavy. But that's nice because then it's secure. The chicken wire is doing good. One important fact, make sure that you are putting the chicken wire on the bottom as well. When you are making a chicken run or a coop and you don't have the chicken wire on the bottom, predators can dig below and get to your chickens. So you need to make sure it's nice, safe, and secure. Also, with this stage of the chickens, we have little perches, as you can see, so that they can learn to start to perch at a good level. We also have two tarps that we're using that we put over the run, and this helps for if it rains, and just in general, it's gonna help with any hawks that are in the sky so that they're not getting as much attention if it's kind of covered up. So when you have ducks and chickens, you will have predators start coming around your yard. Make good decisions, make sure everything is safe and secure for your animals. Because it's very unfortunate, very emotional when you start losing animals because of just natural wildlife. It happens, but your best goal is to try to prevent it in every possibility that you can. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and we will update you on the chickens in the next video.